Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Gateway Community College. That was an excellent rendition of the national anthem sung by Michael D. Almeida. I'll get it right on the third time. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to La France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts. You're watching Bayhawks basketball, Bristol Community College Bayhawks basketball on the live stream on Facebook and on FR Media. Uh, I'm joined by none other than the infamous Portuguese cowboy, 
And um, are we after 8 p.m.? Because it looks like he's the Portuguese terror. Craig, how are you we doing? We are after 8 p.m. I am doing fantastic, Dave. We're here at student night here at LaFranche Gymnasium. Yeah, big night. We got the tunes. We're joined by uh, Buffy the, uh, the Bayhawk over there. And we got, we got the tip over here. Winbush winning the tip. Bayhawks coming here 18 and 1 in conference play and 18 and 4 overall. They've won seven in a row. And they are a team of streaks because they started off the year 11 and 0, had a little bit of a dip, but they've won their last seven in as many tries. And here's Winbush swooping to the hoop, can't get it to fall. Gets his own rebound. Can't get that to fall. Vega is there and he'll lay it in. Bayhawks on the fast track to postseason play. That long pass way out of bounds. That's one way to start a game. Yeah, hopefully we see that from the Eagles this weekend. <laughs> Can't wait for that game. All it's right, so. Super Bowl. It's been super week, and man, let all the, uh, let all the talking subside. Let's play some ball, as we are here right now. And Zachary Vega gets points number three and four right there in the lane, and BCC off to a quick lead as we are in the first minute of action. Thank you for all that are joining us on the live stream on Facebook and the Bristol Community College Athletics page. Jumper from the top of the key is short. Espinal with the rebound. Alex, oh, nice fire it's to Winbush. Laser pass and a great pickup from Winbush. Yeah. Yeah, Alex Holloway, a couple flashy passes to begin things. And Alex Holloway didn't play in the first half of the season. But in the second half of the season, he has been a go-to guy. Yeah, we talked about him. He had a little iffy of a debut, but he has made up for it and then some since then. He sure has. Another miss there by the Lions. Air ball there. So be, um, the Lions not getting up to a good start. They've missed their first three opportunities. Nice pass by Winbush. Daspinal lays it in. Winbush throwing the uh, show of the uh, passing skills there from the top of the key. Nice little bounce pass. Skipped, it, skipped its way through the uh, the defense of the Lions, and, and Espinal will try to get the three-point play. And the early going looking like a well-oiled machine. Great passing just right out the gates from the Bayhawks. And Gateway, uh, exactly, Gateway Community College comes in here with a less than stellar record. They're 6-13 and 13 in uh, conference play, 6-16 and 16 overall, as Espinal can't get it to go, can't complete the uh, three-point play there. But BCC nonetheless out to an 8-0 to zero lead. And uh, we're just underway here with 18 minutes to play. Alec Newman stumbling over himself for a second. Yeah, it sure is. But darting to the basket and uh, getting it to go was Dominique Benson. Ooh. All the way, nice pass. Yeah, a lot of diff different pace here. Oh, nice pass. <laughs> nice pass. Oh, oh but he couldn't, couldn't get it to go. That would have been, been another assist to Espinal. Winbush, such a good passer as well as many other things. Alex Newman at the point being covered by Caleb Provitt. From the elbow, the jumper is good, but Alec Newman, the five foot nine sophomore guard from New Haven, Connecticut, gets it to drop. Espinol, turnaround jumper in the lane, no good. Going back the other way, going into the lane, slicing and dicing and getting it to fall. It's number 31, that's Bryant Bracey. BCC, as they often do, they have the height advantage with a six foot four Vega and a six foot seven from the elbow. It's Holloway and he gets it, that's his shot right there. Can't leave him open right there, that's his, uh, his go-to. And Holloway gets it to go, 10 to six BCC. On the back pass, Newman follow away three pointer. He gets it to fall. Wow! And he looks at the uh, wow, and he looks at the uh, the Bayhawks bench. <laughs> oh, oh, nice, nice pass. pass! We're seeing good passes here. Not as quite as great as not as quite as good finishes as Vega could not get it to fall. That was a nice pass by Holloway. Yeah, BCC getting the looks, and they started out of the gates hot, but now uh, 
Kind of having a little more trouble finishing. That is, you wow. talk about Curryland, holy crap. That's Curryland and then yeah, some. You take was... the whole Curry family right there and you put it in a three-pointer and that is it. <laughs> Nick Rizzola did, he had no shame in his game. You gotta think if you shoot from out there, you know that you can make it from out there. That was a long that way away. NBA range. Yeah, beyond. Knocked away by Newman. Newman, you know he's got a little swag. He stared down the bench before, and there it Taylor is. Taylor Provocator two points. right to him. Yeah, loose ball picked up by Newman, and he puts it up, and all of a sudden, Lions have the lead. Wimbush, drop step, lays it up and in. He could do that all day. You got to assert himself. I want to see that 40-point game. Came close with the 39-point game. Not good enough for Dave Cardoza. He needs 40. Yeah, exactly. And if there's a night to do it, it could be tonight on student night. Noticeably absent from the starting lineup is Corey Green. Corey Green out with an injury last week. He was doing warm-ups today, is suited to play, so we may see him later in this game. Yeah, you might see him come off the bench, you know. Three-point shot in the corner, no good. And that's going to be off Espinal. Yeah, tried to get the rebound, couldn't secure it, ends up going off him. Maxwell Joyner, number 32 in the game for the Lions. That shot is off by Newman. Rebounded by Winbush. BCC likes to push it. They play at a different pace than uh, the ladies' Bayhawks team. Winbush going to come in and slam a jammer with the hammer. And that's getting the crowd excited. Yeah, a little bit of a more of a intense atmosphere now here in the men's game. Not saying anything about the women's game, but this particular women's game today was a little bit slower. In the corner, and that's a trifecta. And that's going to be none other than Nick Rizzola. Espinol, the lay-in. Espinol going baseline with the floater. Gets it to fall. And this, is, looks, this looks like it's going to be an up and down kind of game. Like I said, different feel out there. Student night, different things going on. We got some giveaways. Newman for three for the top, and he gets it to go. Wow. And you said, Craig, that you know Gateway Community College didn't exactly come in here with the best record. Hopefully, it uh, something can entertain us. Well, I think this is going to be an entertaining game. Winbush comes inside, easily lays it in after losing it. Could be Nick and Tuck, Nip and Tuck the whole way. Gateway has got some shooters. That they do, yeah. Doing pretty good from beyond the arc in the early going. Step back, jumper is good. Alec Newman got game. Alec Newman, the shortest player in his team, but boy, can he play. He sure can. He's got a little something, something. Moving the basketball around is BCC. Espinol, the three, gets it to go. And unlike the last game we called for BCC, BCC is actually hitting from the outside. If you remember last game um, that we called, Craig, against Clint Sigamon, BCC couldn't buy a bucket from the outside. Bracey drives to the hole, lays it in. Both teams efficient on the offensive end. Yeah, back and forth action. Neither team really making any mistakes on offense. No teams playing defense, seems like. Actually, it's really good offense. Holloway for three. No good. Now Holloway likes his mid-range game. Haven't seen him shoot too much from beyond the arc. And here's Corey Green coming in for Caleb Provitt. Yeah, here's your boy. Here's your boy, CG3. And Caleb Provitt's been getting a lot more action. He's been showing what he can do. Yeah, very good on the defensive end. We saw him get a lot of steals in the last game. Good on the rebounds. But well, you call him Marcus Smart. He's in, this, uh, in the sense that he's really good on defense. Oh, and, and Newman for three. three again. He's good on defense, and he's good as a selective three-point shooter. He's gritty. Oh, nice bounce pass in motion there. Oh, Winbush with the follow. Nice pass by Holloway. Vega couldn't get it to go, but Winbush cleans up the scraps. Joshua Winbush, a six-foot-seven Freshman hails from Lake Charles, Louisiana. That's a three by Bracey yeah, off the rim. Too. Didn't get much under it. Yeah, a little bit of a line drive there. Winbush. He'll, oh, nice pass to Espinal. That's been the hookup right there. Espinal getting a lot of points in the early going. Yeah, and he's been he's been on the receiving end of Joshua Winbush passes. That's been the hookup. Holla if you hear me. Yeah, Juan Espinal getting the start today. Yes, he has. Bracey drives strong to the hole. Loose ball. It's going to stay right here. Alliance basketball. And, and Craig, we haven't played 
even 10 minutes yet. It's a 25-24 game. BCC has the lead, yeah. Nick Rizzola will come out. Number 14, Traquan Brayboy has come in for the Lions. Newman, shake and bake. Got to stay on that boy. Kick it back out to Newman, being guarded by Alex. Don't call me Alexander Holloway. Deep three by Newman off the rim. And they're, they're going to say it's nobody touched it, so that's going to be BCC basketball. We have a timeout on the floor. Wow, 25-24 already. Yeah, 25-24. It's a fast-paced game. Both teams really, really bringing it up the court, not slowing it down. Both teams really shooting pretty decent from the outside, especially from beyond the arc. Both teams have, uh, you know, have made their share of shots. Looks like it's going to be a very good uh, offensive, offensive game. We're going to see a lot of uh, fast-paced, high-quality action here. Yeah, Josh Winbush already in double figures for points. He has 10. Juan Espinal right behind him with nine. Well, Josh Winbush, anytime he ever steps on the court, he can do pretty much what he wants to do just with his height and his length. And this is all his all-around ability, his ability to, you have to respect him when he, come, when he comes outside the arc at the top of the key. You get to respect his ability to get to the hole, his ability to, as a passer. So you need to, you need to follow him wherever he goes. Nice ball move by BCC. Holloway in the corner, can't get the jumper to fall. Rebound by Bryant Bracey. Bracey to bring the ball up the court for the Lions. BCC playing more zone lately. Driving to the basket. Newman, oh, that's, that's got to be up and down. Yeah, big time travel. <laughs> well, he had the hop, hop, skip, and a hop, skip, of then a jump there. Up and down. Here comes Holloway. Half court offense. Wimbush turning in the lane. Little hook shot. Falls up. Can't get his can't get the tip to fall. Nice pass by Newman, but it goes right through the hands of Maxwell Joyner. I'd like to see the Eagles do that on Sunday. <laughs> oh boy. 25-24, 10 and a half minutes to play. Both teams after the timeout cannot, cannot score. Pushing it, going all the way to the rack. Nice dump off by number 10, Dominique Benson. And I believe number 32 will be going to the line. Mr. Maxwell House over here. Hakan Arda Koban, number 24. Looks like he'll be checking in pretty soon. Might be coming in for Winbush. Nope, no, coming for Espinal. Yeah, he's going to come in for Espinal. So now we get those twin towers out there. I like, I like when they do that. I like when they have those twin towers out there. It gives them a different, different look. I think they're going to call a lane violation. They're going to call a lane violation on Coban. Yes, looks like he got the rebound, but immediately this, yeah, blew the Yeah, in the corner for three, no good. That missed by Brayboy. Vega going to the basket. Looks like he got hemmed up there. Foul's going to be a number 30. Luis Vega. So again, BCC streaking, and a great time to streak, Greg. February 1st, and now this month, this is when things really start heating up. Getting into nitty gritty territory. Yeah, we're getting, we are getting towards the uh, nitty gritty territory tonight, student night, February 1st, here against Gateway Community College. Next game will be at Quincy College, and that will be here, that will be a home game. And uh, Quincy College, they lost to them earlier in the season. Going back the other way, Damian Martin. 
Tried to get it to his old high school teammate, but it's stolen away. Coming up with it is Alex Newman. Alec Newman, number one. BCC in zone. Laying it up and in. Laying it up and in was uh, Maxwell Joyner. 27 to 25. And Gateway has the lead. They swing it around. There's Green for three. And you like to see that. <laughs> Magic. I like that. CG3. And and when saw him out last week. Appeared to have a boot on the foot looking good today. Yeah, looking a lot better. One of the better scorers for the, uh, for the men's Bayhawks team. Coming back the other way. Green for three again. No good. Oh, Coban gets the rebound, but then he gets it stolen. Going the other way. Scooping and not scoring, but he'll go to the hole. Foul's on Green. Foul is on Corey Green. And uh, Dominique Benson will go to the line for two. And then talk about the BCC schedule. And um, yeah, their first loss of the season after after winning 11 straight out the gate, they lost 91 to 88 on December 9th. That was their first loss of the season. And that was on the road. And then they beat Bunker Hill, another top team, 85 to 75, to close out the first half of the season before the winter break. Not too many games left. Coban catches the ball at the top of the key, swings to the hole, no good, but cleaning up the mess is uh, Joshua Winbush. Nice take there by Coban. He missed it, though, when Winbush was there for the offensive rebound, giving BCC a 30-29 to 29 lead. Yeah, more back-and-forth action. It is back-and-forth. And talk about, just as you say that, look who's scoring, Maxwell Joyner. And um, another lead change. Oh, Coban, I don't know how. That was a nice pass. I don't know how it got there. Vega for three. Gets it to go. Zachary Vega. Vega's showing his three-point prowess during the second half of the season. He's really becoming an outside shooter. He can make that shot. Didn't see much from him out there in the first half of the season, really starting to heat up from the, uh, the outside the second half. Big collision. But they're going to call a foul, and I think it's going to go on Coban. I know it's going to be on... Who did they it, call it, it on? It is Caban, yeah. Yeah, they're saying Caban. 33-31, BCC has a lead, 7.30 to play. And another, in this game, not too many fouls called, just like the women's game. Only three team fouls called on the home team, the Bayhawks, and um, only two called <laughs> on the visiting Gateway Community College Alliance. So. Refs calling this the same way. I'm not sure if the, are these is. I'm not even sure if these are the same refs. I don't actually know. I don't think so. They're not. They might be. They're not. But you know what? Coban catches the ball at the top, puts it up, can't get it to fall. Brian Bracy with the rebound, bringing it up, swing in the corner. Rizzola, jumper is no good. Winbush went flying at him. Newman somehow muscles it up off the glass, gets it to fall. Yeah, able to get it up and over the much taller Hakan Koban. Yeah, up over the trees. Wimbush going baseline. Oh, he dipped in. Wimbush dipped that shoulder into, uh, into Dominique Benson. Joshua Wimbush putting on his best Gronk impression, trying to <laughs> get the ball and duck that shoulder in, try to get into the end zone. Hopefully we see that Sunday. Newman for three, no good. Corey Green somehow simultaneously catches the ball and gets it up the court. That ball Aaron blocked Martin, it. Got him in the face. Yeah, that ball blocked out of bounds off the, out of, off the face of Brian Bracey. So after this game, BCC has five games to play this month at Quincy College. I mean, home against Quincy College. 
and then three games on the road against Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology, and then a big game against Bunker Hill Community College on February 15th, and then, um, and then they're at Northern Essex Community College on February 17th, so three road games in a row before finishing out the regular season against CCRI home here. And then after that, that weekend, February 24th and February 25th is the start of the postseason, the MCCAC semifinal. And if BCC continues their winning ways, they'll be in that semifinal on February 24th as they look for their first MCCAC. And there's a, the here we go. Bristol got, Bayhawk tossing out T-shirts to the BCC faithful. The Bristol Bayhawk. The, the debut. Official. Yeah, the debut of the Bristol Bayhawk. It's like the uh, the gobbledygooker. So, oh, geez. Come, he didn't come out of a giant egg, so I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed about that. So, um, so Craig, how do you feel about this team? They're coming in here. They're coming in. They were seven, they've won seven straight. They're 18 and four overall. They've lost one game all season long in Region 21. How do you feel about their chances as we approach the postseason? I think their chances are pretty good. You know, we, they did lose a couple key players, but they've really been able to pick up as of late. You know, and they've been playing really well as a team lately. You know, the continuity is there. The offense is there. The defense has been there. They got, they're in a close game right now against Gateway. And they and BCC. They are the number one team in Region 21. They are first. They are in first place as the lay-in there by Bracy, 37 to 33. BCC down. And this Gateway team kind of coming out of nowhere. They sure are. Stop and pop from the elbow. Holloway can't get it to fall. Loose basketball. Holloway comes away with it. Espinal for three. Air ball. Bracy for three. Line drive three, no good. Lions come away with the offensive rebound. Floater in the lane is good. Dominique Benson, six foot two forward, freshman from New London, Connecticut, with a couple more, 39 to 33. So getting inside. Turnaround jumper, Winbush, no good. Winbush doesn't need that fade. He doesn't need to do that fade away. Six foot seven, you got four or five inches on the next tallest Lions player. You gotta take that to the hole, man. How about Newman thinking about that one? And the corner for three is no good. Wrestling it away, muscling it, taking it away. Wow, Bracey, like, take that. Yeah, just ripping it away, really, from the Bayhawks player and just saying, give me that ball. Kind of indicative of this game. Gateway just wanted just a little bit more. BCC not necessarily playing bad, just... They could get a little bit better offensive selection, and there's a drop step, and there's... Not the way in the shot off, calling oh, it a travel. They're going to call a travel. They're going to call a travel on Wimbush. I thought it looked more of like an offensive foul. I thought he was using that arm to kind of push off, but nonetheless, it's a turnover, and Newman drains it from the outside. He's amped about it, 44 to 33. Craig, what's going on? Again, BCC, their offense, they're just getting outplay. There's a dart from Alex Holloway doesn't work out. BCC. I don't know. This Gateway team again kind of wow. coming out of nowhere. And they're just outscoring BCC. And like you said, Dave, I think Gateway, they just wanted a little bit more right now. Well, you're the underdog. There's no doubt about it. They're 6 and 13, 6 and 16 overall. You're coming into the stadium. 8 o'clock game. Coach Rob Del Lou not. I think he just broke like, his clipboard. Yeah, not liking it. And I mean, this team is coming in here. And the BCC is the number one team. They've been one of the. They've been one of the top teams in Region 21 over the last, you know, handful of years. And um, so Gateway coming in here, nothing to lose. They get an OG head coach coming in here with some swag. Coming from Connecticut, long trip. Nothing to lose coming in here on student night. A lot of energy in this, in this building more than usual. And they're looking to spoil student night. And uh, 
try to get a win against a top, top opponent, one of the top teams in the country. Top 15 team, BCC is. And uh, the number one team in Region 21, they're going to have one of the top two seeds for sure as we go into postseason play. So Gateway coming in. Land a smackdown right now, Craig. It's not even Tuesday. They're phenomenal. Almost, almost as phenomenal as you. I mean, who is as phenomenal as me? Nobody. Nobody as far as I'm concerned. Nope, because they don't want none. <laughs> Country rap intro song. Country rap intro song. How come we don't play that as like our, uh, our in-between songs for the Dirty Water Sports Hour? We don't just play wrestling music? Oh, we will. God, we, we're just getting started. I'm waiting for Steve to upload all my music. And there's a like deep him. three again, I Alec can't. Newman. Alec Newman is draining threes. This team. This, this kid is unbelievable right now. Yeah, I gave I gave a long list of music, and he, like the worst songs were picked off at the beat. <laughs> I like well, I like Ellie Golden. You also like Britney Spears. I like apparently. Britney. Yeah, I like Britney. You, know, you get to mix it up. Forty-seven to thirty-three. We're live streaming. We're live right now from the France Gymnasium in Fall River, Massachusetts, home of the Battleship Cove, home of the Braga Bridge. Deep three, Newman off balance, can't get it to fall. Holloway will grab it. Three on one, nice no look pass. The love to Winbush. Gets the bounce, the pass from Green. Nice. That's what you need. Yeah, BCC stopping the bleeding momentarily. Again, what was back and forth is now a 12 point lead for the Lions. Well, BCC's patented defense, I mean, look at that, the three. Oh my God, he drains it. Gateway is just shooting their minds out right now. Maxwell Joyner this time. Now this Lions team, it seems like everybody can drain threes. Don't underestimate the heart of a Lion, that's for sure. Vega, short jumper in the corner, can't get it to fall. Ripped away by Newman. They are just more aggressive. Look at that little it's an finger underhand roll pass. pass yeah. Across the entire court. Yeah, it was nice. Bracy, up and wow. under, lays it in. And BCC on a night where you got people in the stands. You got jumper in the corner, Winbush, rainbow jumper, no good. And BCC just getting lazy right now. Six foot seven, you don't need to be taking that jumper. Take it to the rack and jam it. Two minutes to play, getting embarrassed on your home court in front of your peers. It was a turnover. On a night where we get the BCC up, another turnover. This time in the favor for BCC. But on a night where, you know, you get a lot of your friends, a lot of your friends, your peers, you get the BCC dance team out there, you got the, the Bristol Bayhawk is here. We're making sure everyone stays for the halftime show though, as the BCC dance team will be performing. This is your product. You want comp, you want, you want teachers and, and uh, students to come out and support you, as well as the rest of the community, because they're watching this on the live stream. They're watching this on FR Media. This is this is a marquee game. Wimbush gets at the ball. Confident they'll come back though. I'm confident BCC will make their run. Coach Rob Del Lue will make the adjustments. Second half, you know. You know, they got a whole other second half to play, and I always say it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah, you get a guy like Winbush, who I think when he asserts himself inside, he can score. Corey Green can hit from the outside. A 16-point lead is uh, not infallible. Follow away jumper by Green. I mean, not, not by Newman, I'm sorry. Hey, Green on the mind. There's Green. That pass knocked away. Going to it, going to the rack. Lays it up and in, followed by Vega. Bracey's loving it, and that team right now was amped. They are amped up. This Gateway team not looking like a 6-16 six and 16 team. Their offense has been on fire, and their defense, they were able to, you know, take advantage of the lazy pass. You know, Zachary Vega not cutting to the ball, and again, just got stolen quickly by number 31, and now he has a chance at a three-point play. That's for sure. They've had a lot of those big-time plays, and Gateway... How are they 16 and how are they 6 and 13, Greg? I mean, I don't know. You know, they they got to be better than that. You got guys like Newman, that guy 
Newman is just, he's been dynamite so far. And just some of these other players too. And I remember Newman from last year. Yeah, he's got some spunk. And five foot nine, definitely undersized, but he is not playing like it. Yeah, and his team has a 14 point lead. Yeah, he's got some fire. He's got some swag. Holloway covering Newman. He's got some handles. He's got some shake and bake. Nice pass out. Too. Oh, nice. That was a nice pass to a cutting Benson. Couldn't get it to fall though. Up oh, all of a sudden it's 36 to 5. Well, so BCC does get the lead back. <laughs> It's all part of the home court advantage. They'll dump it in. Wimbush getting double teamed. They're trying to muscle him up down, down low now. And the pass couldn't work. It went right through Vega's legs. Newman slicing and dicing up and under. Oh, lays it right. in. How many defenders did he just break? Two, three? Look at like Tiny Archibald. Wimbush going the other, lay, going the other way. He'll lay it in. 57 to 38, if that's the correct score. BCC down by 19 in their home court on a big night for the students. And Newman's just going to hold the ball for the last shot. Shot clock is off. Newman around the back. Bracey for three. At the buzzer is no good. And at the half, 57 to 38, the visiting Gateway Community College Lions coming here on a big night here at LaFrance Gymnasium, the home court of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. They have a 57 to 38 lead. So we'll take a break here. It is halftime at student night, and we'll be right back right after this. All right, I want to welcome back everybody to LaFrance Gymnasium here at Fall River, Massachusetts, home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. You're watching Bayhawks basketball on the live stream on Facebook. And your, uh, the Bristol Community College Bayhawks down 57 to 38 here at the half. Joined here with Craig Salvador. Craig, in that first half, BCC just getting out played, getting out hustled and out muscled. What'd you see there in the, uh, in the first half? Yeah, BCC, they were off to a hot start, really just going back and forth with Gateway. It was 25 25 at, at one point. I think it was 30 to 30 at some point. But then again, Gateway just really coming out. And it's that number one right there, Alec Newman, who is really the glue of this team, that point guard. And he's been unbelievable. But yeah, Gateway just really outscoring BCC. With BCC right now, they uh, got a couple notable players right now. There's a lob, almost went in for a shot. A lob slash shot, yeah. none the, nonetheless. Not the, not the greatest um, opening possession that, uh, that you want if you're Rob Dale Lou. Going to the hole, nice, nice block there by Winbush. Another block by Winbush. And Winbush regains uh, possession. So Craig, who is the um, offensive leader, leading scorer there in the, uh, in the first half? That goes up to uh, no surprise, it is Josh Winbush. Winbush doing as Winbush does, 17 points, three assists, seven rebounds in the first half, in the first half followed by Juan Espinal, who had nine points, and, Alexander, and Alex Holloway had five assists in the game. And Joshua Winbush having another J Josh Winbush top type night. But those 17 points, Kind of a quiet 17 points. I mean, he started off guns a-blazing, but, and there's Newman. The way that he uses his body is good. Oh, and the lay-in, the putback by Benson. BCC not boxing out, and this is the worst beating that BCC has had this year. They're down 21 in their home court right now. And I just can't see how this team is 6-16. Six and 16. No, because they're playing out of their minds. They're playing out of their, out of their gourd right now. And there's a foul. Foul in the action. Might have to see the Bristol Bayhawk come in and dunk on some people. <laughs> Maybe somebody. Caleb Provid at the line. He'll go to the line for two. That foul was on number 10, Dominique Benson. First free throw good by Caleb Provid. Five games left in this season. In the regular season. 59 to 40. Going back down the other way. Fall away jumper, no good. Provit, lightning quick. Nice bounce pass, wrap around to Vega. Streaking, and maybe that could get BCC some life. Get some life in this, in this gymnasium. And this is the loudest we've heard this gym. 
uh, this Jim, year. Yep, Jim starting to get into it on student night. Newman runs a play, taps his head. Hey, he taps that afro. Crossing over, spinning. Newman keeps a good job of his, keeping his pivot foot. Rizzola off the mark. Pushing it up is Provit. Provit back to Holloway at his spot. Gets fouled, and he'll go to the line and try to cut into that lead a little bit more. Lots of time left in this one. Don't go away. Hopefully you've been enjoying Bayhawks basketball and FR Media this season. A lot more to come as BCC is on the on the road to the uh, the postseason. One more home game after tonight. And I'm sure that will be sophomore night. So another big night to come. And those free throws drained by Holloway. And it's a 15-point lead. Newman patting that head again. It's a double screen to his left. He's just going to put up a three. Three-pointer no good. Coming off. And here's Holloway. Holloway leading the break. Nice dish. Vegas striking in there. He got the he slam. He did it. He did he it. He got the did slam. It. And he's saying, <laughs> I can dunk. He finally did it. Thank you, Jesus. And it was with authority. Five. <laughs> and that's a sign from the from the basketball gods above. They got to win this game now. He was getting them in warm-ups. They Bayhawks told were having you kind I, of a dunking contest during warm-ups. I told you I seen it during the warm-ups, but it's been a long time since, since we've seen Zachary Vega dunk in a game. He was on a on a streak of epic proportions as far as missing dunks. And that, like you said, Craig, that was a dunk with authority, streaking to the basket. And Vega having himself a good game. How many points for Vega? Vega right now, he is at 11. So, yeah, Zachary Vega is another guy. He's usually one of the leading scorers and leading rebounders on this team. And the Bristol Bayhawk about to give out some warm uh, T-shirts to the crowd. He <laughs> you should try to throw some our way. You should. I'll snatch it from you. Go and tackle him. Zachary Vega, is. we know that he is a second-half type player. He, get, he usually gets it going in the second half. Well, if you're watching earlier, ladies and gentlemen, the BCC uh, Lady Bayhawks, the women's team, was victorious over at Gateway Community College today in the earlier game, in the first game of our doubleheader. Great night for the Bayhawks, and BCC looking to try to make it a, a clean sweep. They got some work to do right now, down 13. 17.35 to play, lots of time. Bayhawks with the momentum. The crowd is into it. Well, Vega getting all up in Newman's face. And there's that, there's that full court pressure. BCC now matching up man to man. That's what they do best. We saw them play zone defense early in the game. Wasn't working too well, and now they've switched to man. This could uh, have better, uh, better effect now. Loose basketball. Yeah, Long. All, already, Windbush around the back. Already it's Holloway, working. No look pass. Profit, the slam, the alley-oop to Winbush. And the crowd is loving it. The Bristol Bayhawk is excited. <laughs> now the crowd is lit. Wow. We got a defense chant going on. We actually have a defense chat. So we went from the ladies game earlier. We went from a golf match to a basketball game. And a basketball game broke out here in the, in the second part of our doubleheader. Always Three guarding. on the shot clock. That was deflected. Wimbush needs to look up. Oh, and he gets it intercepted. Away. Picked off. Oh, but that's stolen by Wimbush with the long arms. And we might see another rally. Oh, man. Trying to get too foolish now. You see Holloway. Uh, not Holloway. You see Wimbush kind of laughing at it. He noticed. Yeah. Holloway just a little too much mustard off the glass. Couldn't get it to go. Yeah. Get, get. Couldn't get it to Winbush. Yeah, two ahead of himself. But there's Vega. Oh, I thought Vega was going to get another dunk there. He gets fouled on the play. Zachary Vega going to the line. And Gateway coming apart. And you can really feel the momentum shifting in this building now. Well, when you have a big lead out like that, you got to, you know, you can't, you can't rest on your laurels. You can't sit on that lead and hope for the clock to run out. You got to come come ready for action here in the second half and BCC is just, they've done just that. On your home court against a team that you're better than. Driving to the hole, kicking it back out. 
Here's Bracey. Bracey spins in the lane. Jumper. No good. Way off. It's too strong. And they're going to say it's off gateway. They're going to say it's off number 32, Maxwell Joyner. Yeah, I guess it looks like Holloway was getting the rebound. Just kind of got tipped away from him. Provit. 12 on the shot clock. They get it down inside. Vega muscles it up and in. Good job. Seven by, point lead. Good job by Vega using his body, driving away the opponent. This crowd being loud and proud. Ball away jumper from the top of the key is way off. And I think it's starting to get into yeah, Gateway's head. they are. Windbush going, oh, around the back. And now BCC just getting a little too flashy for their Yeah, their they're, trying, they're trying to act like they're the Harlem Glo Globetrotters over here. The Harlem Globetrotters. And they made the Bristol Bayhawk upset. <laughs> he's looking a little sad now. I they think, need to have a big play. I think he's been upset. I think he's been upset the whole game, Greg. I don't know. <laughs> Going all the way to the lane and stopping the bleeding is Dominique Benson, 61 to 52. Here's Holloway, setting the offense. And BCC has a lot of time. Just need to keep up the momentum. Provin, nice bounce pass, somehow gets it there. Winbush, oh, I thought he might have got fouled there. Lost control of it. Possession. In favor of the Lions. Oh, Newman, Newman breaking ankles, but gets oh, a block by block. Winbush. And yeah, big block. And then the putback by Luis Vega. And then BCC turns the ball over. That ball goes out of bounds. 11 point lead was a 19 point lead at the half. It was 57 to 38. And the last few possessions, BCC just kind of been unlucky with their passes. You say unlucky, I say careless. Kicking it back out, Newman for three. Up for the rebound is Winbush. Here's Alexander Holloway, 15 on the shot clock. I think BCC needs to catch their breath. They've been going 100 miles per hour off the gate here in the second half. Espinal inside the three-point line, rolls out. Rebounded by Bracey. And Newman slowing the pace now. Newman, you can tell this kid, he's just in charge. He's a floor general. Gets it inside. Up against Winbush is Vega, kicking it back out. Driving muscle to the hole is Bracey. He's going to get fouled. I think the foul is going to be on Mr. Winbush. It is on Joshua Winbush. That's going to be his second. Three team fouls on the Lions. One for the home team, Bayhawks. That was the first team foul by the home team. First free throw was missed by Bracey. Corey Green going to come into the game right there, number 15. Going to come in for Juan Espinal. So Corey Green is out there with number three, Alex Holloway. Number four, Joshua Winbush. Crowd getting in the shooter's head. Caleb Provitt and Zachary Vega round out the five out there for the Bayhawks right now. Wimbush catches it at the top of the key, back out. Vega slashing to the hole, back out to the open. Provitt for three, no good. Lions come away with it. BCC had all the momentum, kind of slowed down now. Bracey for three, way too hard. Wimbush, oh, he, he's got those long strides. Back out, oh, they'll swing it in the corner. There's Zachary for three. Bing, bang, boom. It is an eight-point lead now, ladies and gentlemen. Broadcasting live from the river. Ball away jumper going to his right. And nailing it is Newman. Stopping the BCC run, 65 oh. to 55. I want to see how many points Newman has at the end of this. 
Yeah, he's been a he's been a giant. Ten on the shot clock. Lions in that zone. Vega gets to take it away. Winbush back inside to Vega, knocked away. Vega get it get it get it taken away by Vega. Luis Vega. There's a three by Rosillo. No good. You saying there was some Vega on Vega hate going on? Yeah, Vega on Vega, exactly. Vega on Vega. 11 and a half minutes to play. 10 point lead. Holloway taking it to the hole. Had it, had it blocked. Oh, nice pass. And then taken away. And then back, back to BCC. Provitt back out to Corey. No good. Wimbush is there. Nobody was blocking him out. Wimbush with the two points. Rizzolo kicking back out. There's a three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Provitt. Lions not as nearly as hot as they were in the first half. They'll dump it into Winbush. Easy lay in for two on the pass from Holloway. And it is a six point lead now, Craig. And Josh Winbush, 23 points, 13 rebounds. The double double master. And here comes Hakan Koban, number 24. He'll come in. And he'll tag out Vega. Vega himself having a very good game. He definitely is. And Juan Espinal will come in. And Josh Winbush will go out. And here comes Damian Martin. And he'll come in for Caleb Provitt. So a myriad of, uh, of substitutions going in there. Get some fresh bodies. Crowd getting into it. Going all the way strong to the hole is number 10, Dominique Benson. And he's quietly having a good game for the Lions. Crowd starting to get loud. Starting to feel it. That ball sails out of bounds. Yeah, nothing Corey Green could have done about that. It was just two over his head. And here, hey, here's someone we haven't seen in a while. It's Malik Muhammad Hester. Good to see him back. He's yeah. a solid body right there, number 21. A great rebounder. Yeah, he's a little bit, he's a little bit raw. But he definitely gives them an extra solid body to go in that rotation. Yeah, like you said, a good rebounder, good contributor. Fifteen on the shot clock. BCC playing that solid man. Newman for three, no good. There's a rebound by Traquan Brayboy. He'll go to the line as he gets fouled on the putback. Fouls on Hester just in the game. First free throw was good. We haven't had to see BCC in our home games that we've watched, Greg. We haven't had we haven't had to see BCC come from behind too many times. Both free throws are made, 10-point lead. Timeout on the court from LaFrance Gymnasium in Fall River. So 69 to 59, we'll keep it here. 9.46 to play. Can BCC get back in this game? They are back in this game. They were down 19 at the half. Been a good run for them to get back into the game. They get to within six. Now it's a 10-point game. Can they get back in this thing? In it to win it. Can they get back in it to win it? They can. I believe they can. I believe they will. They got a lot of what, good chances. What chance. do you like? The little train that could? I think I can. I think I can. Hey, sometimes all you need is confidence. And they, they, they definitely got it. You need the support of the crowd and the support of the Bristol Bayhawk. <laughs> oh, poor Bristol the Bayhawk. Been an exciting night. The Bristol Community College Bayhawks, Lady Bayhawks team, were victorious in the uh, in the first game of our doubleheader. We've had a lot of good, uh, a lot of good music. We had a great rendition of the uh, Star Spangled Banner, sung by Michael D. Almeida. That kicked uh, that kicked us off here in the uh, second part of our doubleheader. We've had Bristol the Bayhawk. We've had raffles, giveaways. Dance routines. Yeah, we had a good dance, uh, great dance uh, routine 
That's what by, every uh, game should be like. Yeah, exactly. A lot going down in a very short amount of time. Yeah, the uh, the BCC dance team led by Damra Pao, aka Patrick Chung, aka the Great Wall of China, leading the uh, leading the charge. Pretty entertaining stuff. A lot of talent, a lot of talent on display, not just on the basketball court with the basketball players. A lot of talent up in this announcement booth. Don't want to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Cardoza and the Cowboy on the call. It's been a great two years. But you know, one of us is going to want to take all the credit at some point, and stuff's mm. going to start going downhill, and then and then someone gets uh, you're going to have to be your, eats your, a super kick and gets their head smashed through a barbershop window. You beat me to it, you son of a. You were going to say that, weren't you? <laughs> I was. I was like, you're going to be my Marty Janetti. I ain't the Marty Janetti. You the Marty Janetti. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I don't think so, buddy. Uh huh. Corey Green. Am I going to have to challenge you to hell in a cell? <laughs> going back the other way, all the way to the hole, and getting knocked down. And getting fouled, he's going to go to the line, number 10, Dominique Benson. Dominique Benson has quietly been a solid contributor for this Lions team. Yeah, we always talk about Alec Newman, but yeah, Benson not, not one to scoff at. Yeah, Alec Newman's got the flash, and he's, he's hit some uh, incredible shots. But Dominique Benson, he's been like the, uh, the steady force. He's been the steady, steady. Yeah, and only a freshman. Solid fundamentals. Yeah. He's As been he the misses a free throw. He's been yeah. He's he's been the constant though. He sure has been the constant. In the corner, Corey Green, way off the mark. That's his shot too. Man, Newman kicks it right back out. Going to the hole, strong as Bracy. He just has a strong game, and he's fired up. Wow. Brian Bracy. Espinol getting double teamed, going to be knocked away by Bracey. Chases it down, hustle and bustle. Fall away jumper, Newman can't get it. Man, Lions all over the boards. Somehow Martin comes away with it. Yeah, Martin's got to slow it down. There he goes. Some way Holloway finds Martin. From the top of the key is Alex Holloway. No good. There's Muhammad. Gets his stuff, gets it stuffed. No foul. Loose Just ball. Away. What happened? Wow. Uh, that was a timeout called? Oh, wow. Huh. So possession arrow is going to be in the Lions' favor, 72 to 59. And Craig, it looked like BCC was climbing back into this thing. And um, they got as close to w as within six, and they are down 13. And um, if they're going to come back, the comeback needs to start now. They need to start making shots and getting stops at the other end. Yeah, BCC starting to struggle really finishing, starting to, you know, struggle shooting from the outside. Just really, they had something going too. You know, they were going on a bit of a run. Gateway really just shutting them down. And again, Newman and uh, Benson really been the two guys really leading this, uh, leading this Lions team ahead of the Bayhawks right now. And they're going to have to shut down those two guys on defense. Do you think BCC is getting caught up in the hoopla of this big night? Do you think they're getting caught up in the atmosphere? BCC is not used to playing in front of this many exuberant people. It's very possible. You saw when they were going on that run, you know, they were starting to make careless passes, flashy passes, unnecessary passes, and Gateway was really able to take advantage of that. And I've seen BCC teams in the past, that's a deep three, way off. Corey Green with the rebound. I've seen BCC teams in the past actually play better on the road. I talked with that. I talked about that with Coach, Coach Rob Del Lou once upon a time, and he said sometimes we just play better on the road because we're not trying to show off. We're not trying to do extra th extra things we wouldn't normally do. And tonight you've seen you've seen them do a lot of uncharacteristic things: throwing the ball up the backboard to try to get a dunk, more around the backs, more more trying to be flashy than good. Going all the way to the hole, easily to the basket. Nobody getting in front of that. That's, and that, guess who that is? It's Dominique Benson.
Going back the other way. Martin, back up to Winbush. Green, he's going to get fouled. 15-point lead. Gateway is taking BCC behind the woodshed right now and, and having their way with them. I give a lot of kudos to, um, to Gateway because BCC, they came out guns a blazing. They were, they were on the comeback trail, and Gateway has really weathered the storm. you think they would just fold. Yeah, at no point in this game, really, Gateway was really behind. They've always either been right there or now, in this case, just really just leading the charge right now. Yeah, well, BCC came out the gate running and gunning. They were up. They had the first eight points of the game. They were out up 8 nothing, and it looked like they were going to just sail away with this thing, and Gateway has really took it to them. Both free throws made by Corey Green, and they needed that. BCC needs to... They need to make a run here, and where is that pressure that we've seen, that patented pressure, that man-to-man -man pressure, where is it? Yeah, I haven't really seen it too much. BCC uh, on defense, they were playing a zone early on. They switched to man. What about the press, though? We haven't seen too much of that full-court press. And yeah, that's really where BCC. Benson, step back, over Winbush, and gets it to fall. Boy, has he been steady. Mr. Steady Benson. And like I was saying, that's where BCC shine though, is with their speed, really, and they've been kind of taken out of it. You know, like with the full court press, with their speed. Holloway can't make it, and that just indic that's another shot indicative that night. Coming up short. You hate to see a team as talented as BCC and as good as BCC has been, especially in the region, you hate to see them go out at home like this. And there's another shot there and put back. That time by number 14, Traquan Brayboy getting in on the action. Coach and Rob. Coach Rob, yep, Coach Rob Del Lou is going to call a timeout and it's much needed right now. BCC uh, getting spanked. 548 to play, 78 to 61. In front of a good crowd tonight, a crowd that's been very much into it, very enthusiastic. Fun crowd here tonight, and uh, BCC not getting it done. We, we're not used to seeing BCC um, scoring so very little. 61 points tonight. We're usually seeing them up over 80, you know, uh, average in the mid-80s, late-80s. You know? Yeah, we've only seen, I think, about two home losses on the season. You know, and one of them was to one of the top teams. Again, that team from New York. That was the only loss we've seen here, Craig, to be honest with you. Didn't we see one other one? No, sir. They had – they played in the CCR Invitational. They lost there. They lost against Sullivan County Community College um, in the opening game of the second half of the season. They lost to, They lost to the number eight team, Sullivan County Community College from New York, 80-76. to 76. This would be their first – this would be their first conference loss at home this year. They also lost to Quincy College on the road. That was their first loss. So besides, besides the loss to Sullivan, this is their first loss of the season. Winbush drops step, lays it in. That's what he should be doing each and every single time. You need stops. You need possessions. Benson back out to Bracey. If you're BCC, you need a little bit of a sense of urgency. Bracey driving to the hole. Winbush going for the block, and he'll commit the foul. I'm not sure how much he got that, and that's Benson going to the line. That's Winbush's third foul of the game. Crowd trying to throw off Benson, not working. Hey, you know something, Greg? They they have um, the crowd has usually been quiet during these free throws during the season that we've seen. So good to see that they have a good wherewithal to uh, make some noise. Seventy nine to sixty three. Not a lot of time to make a comeback. Sick. We've seen stranger things happen. It's a sixteen point lead. 
But BCC doesn't, they don't seem to have the shooters, especially like the, the shooters that they've had in the first half. They don't seem to have the consistent shot-making ability that we've seen in the past. And Gateway, they've had consistent, sh they've had consistent shooting. Not so much in the second half, but they definitely have had guys that are playmakers uh, more steady for them. And you talk about Dominique Benson and, and, Bri and Brian Bracey. Those guys have been, uh, you know, besides Alec Newman. Alec Newman had a good first half, but in the second half, it's been, it's been all Dominique Benson, this kid right here. And right now, BCC combining for four for 13 from beyond the arc. Not good. Vega being grabbed by Vega, now inside. Vega losing it. Yep, and now they're turning, the, they're turning the ball over now, and that's, I mean. Yeah, we talked about early on in the game, both teams were playing very solid, good fundamental offense, not really causing any turnovers. Now BCC, it seems like they're turning the ball over every chance they get. This is gonna be a rude awakening for BCC. Knowing, knowing and seeing that they can be beat. Yeah, they're, they're being humbled on their home turf. On the bright side, though, DJ did play the Space Jam theme during that timeout. Be humble? No, they were playing the Space Jam theme. The Space Jam theme? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's Michael Jordan's best movie. Oh, my goodness. His best movie? His only movie? Yeah, it still counts. <laughs> and the first free throw was uh, made by Mr. Benson. And, uh, and, man, just like that, Craig, 81 to 63, 438 to play. Did he just add a sound effect? I have no idea. And Craig, we talked about, you talked about Gateway coming in here and possibly getting smoked, and what are we gonna talk about? And right now, is getting smoked. Winbush, gonna lay it in. Yeah, the record's really, uh, you can throw the record right out the book right now. Uh, Gateway. And Gateway is gonna be tough. Gateway is gonna be tough come the regionals. Come the tournaments at the end of the um, at the end of the month, as we go into February and and, and March madness over here. Yeah. Rebound by Win, but now you gotta you gotta you gotta push it, you gotta make some shots. Holloway getting in the paint, gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. Need quick baskets, 15 point lead. Got to cut it to within 10. You gotta, get it to, you gotta get it to within 10 soon. <laughs> Newman slicing like a knife, but then he got it blocked. Got his stuff thrown by Joshua Winbush out of bounds. Little offense defense here, Corey Green coming in for the more defensive minded Caleb Provitt. Need a steal. Driving baseline, strong as Bracey, rebounded by Winbush. Need a good possession here. Here's Holloway. Getting inside. Winbush. Finds Vega. Ooh, that would have been so big. Can't connect. But he'll go to the line for two. Three nineteen to play. Both teams still not in the bonus. Vega will drain the free throw. He could cut it to within 13 with this free throw. But limited possessions. Rizzolo will go out for the Lions. Both free throws made. And now BCC matching up man, man to man, full court, which we've seen this a little bit earlier. Here's a trap. Again, BCC really shifting the second gear now on yeah. defense. There it is, Vega. 12 on the shot clock. Newman in the corner for three. It's good. Good night, Nurse. Yeah, you talk about BCC's defense. Look at the Lions' offense on that possession. Wow, they did a good job of finding the open man. There was Maxwell Joyner with the three that sealed the deal. Winbush up and under. 
you know, now Josh Winbush wants to play inside and make it make his presence self make his presence felt inside. Now that the game is uh, pretty much in doubt, you get to play with that uh, sense of urgency a little bit earlier, my friend. There's Vega for three, drains it. It is a three. And just like that, it is a 19-point lead. Man. Back-to-back -back threes by uh, Vega, who just made a shot for the Lions. Man. Tough night. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's just not your night, you know. And I saw the other day, though, the Warriors lost to the Jazz by 30 points. So it happens, even in the NBA, you know. Arguably, sometimes the best team won't always win. Yeah. Only in the NBA, you're playing, like, back-to-back -back nights, four or five games in a week. 30, uh, I mean, uh, playing 82 games. This is a night you should come out and win. This is a night where you got the you got the fans out here cheering for you loud. There's more, there's more intensity, more going on. There's more energy in this building than there has been in a long time. I am the Marty Gennetti, aren't I? You just buried me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go tag with the one, two, three kid. Oh, bad scene. You weren't even a twinkle in your mother's eye, but I was watching the barbershop that day on a Saturday on a Saturday morning. I was devastated. Hmm. You a big rockers guy? I, I love the rockers. Tag team specialist. And uh, right now the Lions are just running, running out the string as we are. Yeah, they're just letting the clock run out at this point. BC still, BCC still playing hard though. Newman loves that fadeaway, fallaway shot there. Vega in the open court going for a jam. At least trying to entertain the crowd. He'll go to line for two. Winbush has a lot of buckets. How many buckets does he have? Winbush right now has 27 points along with 16 rebounds. He's got four blocks along with three assists. He fills up the stat sheet. But this wasn't enough, though. I just feel like, I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like he um, doesn't pick his spots well enough to, you know, sometimes he, you know, he likes, I know, I understand. He's got, he's got a lot of skill. He comes out to the top, you know, out. he likes to come out to the perimeter. He's a good passer, this and that. But I think what this BCC team needs is him to get down that block and just dominate. Going the other way and getting fouled is Maxwell Joyner. 88 to 73, minute 16 to play. And um, going to the line is MJ. Not Space Jam MJ, but Gateway Community College Lions MJ, Maxwell Joyner. <laughs> First free throw miss. Is he going to be the star of Space Jam 2? Oh, geez. Space Jam 2 well, starring well, Kevin Durant where he signs with the aliens. Oh, my God. Vegas hits out there for three. No good. And the Lions coming here upset-minded. And they are going to get the upset here tonight. This kid just works. What a pass. Wow. Oh, what a pass by, uh, he couldn't connect though. Benson, unfortunately, couldn't connect. What a, that was a hell of a pass by Newman. Winbush will go to the line as he gets fouled on the putback attempt. 40 seconds to play. So BCC seemingly gonna drop this one. 
and they're going to fall to 18 and 2 in Region 21 conference play. They'll fall to 18 and 5 overall, and um, and that's it. They don't have another game until next Tuesday. That's going to be a home game for us when they where they face Quincy College, and um, and try to pay them back for their for their first loss of the season. 91-88 Thriller on the road. And then it's off for three road games. And, they'll, and then they'll finish the season, the regular season, against CCRI. Rhode Island. And that's going to be on February 21st. And that'll be our last regular season home game. And then it's off to the postseason. Meantime, Damian Martin called with a technical foul. Miss both though on the technical. Yeah, those are some freebies. You gotta you gotta hit those. Pat the stat sheet. The MCCAC semifinal, which we think BCC is the number one team right now. We think that they'll be in. They'll, we think that they'll be in that weekend. We think that they've signed to seal their ticket to uh, that semifinal round. And that's on February 24th. If they indeed win that on February 25th, will be the final for the Mass State Tournament. And then the following, the following weekend in March, that's when the that's when the big bucks are on the line, Craig. The regional, the regional tournament, regional semifinal on uh, Sunday, March 4th, and then on Monday, Monday, March 5th is the regional final to see who goes to New York for money and rings. Mm. Holloway for three. No good. Winbush, put back is good. 11 point lead, but not a lot of time left to play. But BCC, give them credit. They play right down to the final whistle because this, this was like a nearly a 20 point game just a few seconds ago. BCC playing Hard to the very end. BCC might just keep hacking. Gateway, they've missed their like last four yeah, foul shots. Not a, lot of, not a lot of time left, though. No. Oh, they're calling a violation, I think. All right, no, they're in the double bonus now. They are in the double bonus. BCC with 10 team fouls. And there's going to be a timeout on the floor, so. 11 points, though, 24.4 seconds. So, Craig, this is going to just be a blip on the blip on the radar. Gateway Community College comes in here, very competitive, more than competitive. They got the lead, and we assume the win. So, you never know. A team like Gateway Community College, you may, you could see them again. They're a gritty team. They got some good players. They got some good shooters. Alex Newman, number one. He's shown he showcased his talent here today, and I was, I'm impressed with uh, Dominique Benson as well. You can see this team again in um, down the line in the postseason. The most entertaining thing all night. Here's the crowd is enjoying a young fan in the Bristol Bayhawks showing his respect to him. <laughs> Not often you see a mascot around these parts. No, I've, I've seen him a couple times. Do we expect to see him back? We have uh, one more home game. We, we have one more home game. Maybe this will stick. Eighty-eight to seventy-seven. BCC just going to run out of time here. There's not a lot, not enough time to get this done. But if you coach Rob Dale Lou, it's going to be a big week into practice, and you don't have a game till next Tuesday. A lot of time to sure things up. Spinning in the lane is Mr. Holloway. Can't get it to fall. Hot in this gym today, man. It's always hot in here. It's the sweat box. No, good thing. Well, yeah, the last couple last couple games have haven't been as hot. I wore the peak coat. 
Good thing to wear today. And that inbound pass stolen away. And Gateway will round off the seconds out the clock. Dribble it out, Mr. Rizzola. And that's it. The Lions have come in here and have knocked, knocked off the number one Region 21 team in the Bristol Community College Bayhawks in their home court on student night. And the Lions get the big victory. They knock off the top the top team, uh, the top, a top 25 team in the country in BCC. The Gateway Community College Lions win their seventh contest of the season. And that's a big, they played their hearts out tonight. Heart of a Lion coming in here and beating BCC in front of their home crowd, a lively, energetic crowd. And they come in here and get the win. Yeah, definitely coming away with the upset. You know, coming in here on student night and just really just upsetting the crowd, upsetting BCC. You know, beating them by a good amount too. They definitely did, and um, you know, fortunately for BCC, you know they got obviously got some more games to come. They get another. We have another home game on Tuesday. They'll face Quincy College, and then um, then they got three road games, and then when they finish with a home game, and and that's going to be it. The games just keep getting bigger. Yeah, like you said, it's going to be a hard week of practice, you know, and you know prepare for the next one. And we got Super Bowl Sunday coming up. We do. It's going to time to get hyped pretty soon. <laughs> Um, I've been hyped all week. Mm -hmm. So who is our Bayhawks player of the game? Well, again, it's going to be no surprise, but it's going to go to Josh Winbush. He had 31 points, 19 rebounds, four blocks, and three assists. You know, BCC not able to come away with the win, but again, a great performance by Josh Winbush. It always is. He's a guy that fills up the stat sheet. You know, he's a double-double uh, machine, and then obviously getting the blocks too, and such a good passer. It's good to see his game just grow and grow and grow. And um, would, would like to have seen him be more assertive um, on the inside more consistently. But nonetheless, Joshua Winbush, as you say, Mr. Salvador, is our Bayhawks player of the game. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everybody who's been watching on the live stream on the Bristol Community College Athletics page on Facebook. Thank you very much. And, um, you know, look forward to uh, having you again uh, broadcasting Bayhawks basketball. So for... Uh, Dave Cardoza alongside me, the Portuguese Cowboy, Mr. Craig Salvador. You've been watching Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. And good night, everybody. <laughs>